and a bird we found in our yard. Hi, Dad. Um, Shannon found this little bird out by the trees when he was um when he was cutting down a sycamore tree that's overgrown into the hydro wires. Um, and he found this this little bird. It's about as you can see, it's about you know the size of a Canadian robin. Um, I don't know what he is or she. Um, he's flashy. He's flashy. She. She seems pretty happy. I don't know. I think I, I'm not sure if she's broken something or if she just has a neurological disorder. She keeps her head cocked to this side, as you can see. She keeps her head cocked to the left side. Sorry, her her right side. And, um, I, get, I got her hugged once, one. but she doesn't seem to be hugging. And I don't think she has a broken wing, because um, she is she seems able to flap both wings bilaterally. Okay. Um, but her little but whenever whenever she flies out of my hand, or um or if I if I set her down on the floor, she sort of um she rolls onto her back, and so I wonder. And it seems like she doesn't really have um either feeling or access to. Or mobility in her tail. Her tail, as you can see, back here, she's got. When um when we found her, her her spine was sort of curved like this, and her her tail was sort of up flat against her body. But as far as I know, like she's not a ram or anything. Um, and she doesn't seem able to really move. Move her tail, so I was wondering maybe like she'd broken her sacrum or something, or uh. She has a breakage on her spine, or else I thought maybe she might have some kind of neurological. Whoa! See, you can see when she falls down, her tail goes sort of back like that. And again, she's got her head cocked to the side. Or you can see if she is getting snickled. No, honey. Come on, Mimi. Can you see what the snickled means? Whoa! Can you see what the snickled means? She seems to sort of she. Favors the. Mommy, she sort of doesn't. She, it looks like she doesn't really know which end Mommy, is up and the bird. which end is down. The bird See, and again, it's like the tail just seems completely like either immobilized except when she pulls it up against her body. So, Mommy. anyway, <laughs> here's your mystery, Doctor House <laughs> of the Veterinary World. Mommy. But Dr. Then, Baker, help us. Um, <laughs> anyway, so we've set out some peanuts. As you can see, the girls have very thoughtfully given given the birds some peanuts. Ah! Oh, and the other sorry, the other uh, the other clinical clinically significant thing is that her her feet go from being like totally clenched up. This isn't actually as flexed as it as that clenched as it it was a second ago. They go from being like completely clenched like that to to, to being like sort of spasmic spasmically stretched out again which makes me think it might be a neuro neurological thing um and she still has mobility in her head but as you can see she kind of keeps it cocked to the side cocked off to the right side and she's waving no <laughs> Way forward. and her uh, yeah see and then there she's grasping really hard at my uh at my hand anyway and we just we found her trapped in the the bushes she was sort of stuck in some undergrowth Anyway, so we are wondering what kind of bird she is and if you know what's wrong with her. Um, this is actually the second bird like this that we have found. The first one we found on Christmas Day, we found her in the in the garden. I think it was um like a lark or something. And it was um it was a bird of the same size except it had um red red patches sort of under its wing. Um sort of and we realized that it was dead. Before. Yeah, and it, it had it had died already, but it, it it looked as though it had died while it was foraging because it actually had dirt. I found it under some some plants, and it had some dirt in its beak. But it, it appeared that uh, like a, a cat hadn't got it or anything like that. But yeah, and here's a close up of its tail. There's some, as you can see, under the feathers. There's nothing there, but under. The Woo! Sorry, Grace. Woo! Were you okay, Gracie? Yes. Oh, little bird. What's it going to do? Fluttering. No, She's trying to get away. Oh, no. Here, I'm uh, just going to immobilize her so she doesn't freak out. I want to put her See, in again. I 
I want her to get in my hand. You want to hold it for me? Yeah. Here. This is what you have to do. Hold her. See where? See how my hands are like this? Cover her. Move your thumb like this. And don't squeeze it's just her. Just so But you're gonna, you're gonna keep her wings. You're gonna keep her wings from flapping with your hands like this. Okay. Yeah, good for you, Grace. Which will make you do what? Mom, well, I just look close into her. Yeah, I think she's sick, honey. I think she I think she might have something wrong with her brain or her spine. Maybe she has fever. Yeah, maybe she has a fever. Yeah. We of course do that, yeah. Mm. Or maybe she wants to go home. Yeah, maybe she wants to go home. I don't know where her nest is though. And I think she might be too sick to fly home. Maybe me we want to make freezing. Oh, she pooped on me again. Can you get me some paper, some toilet paper? Yes, mommy. Daddy. I shall get you some paper towels. This is six minutes. Yeah, first have white poop. Sorry, can you wipe it for me? Here, turn off the video. <laughs> Sorry.